A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from. Enough about how awesome you are, back to the video. Welcome back. So in this episode we are going to be looking at the ability to move a card around. So dragging it around as it is referred to when it comes to widgets and this could be for something like if you wanted to play it out for example or maybe you want to be able to reshuffle your cards in your hand we will be handling both of these situations but we're starting with uh, the drag options so uh, what we will be doing to begin with is we will open up our card now our card has again some nifty functionality within it that is available directly simply by uh, being a widget. Uh, so what we want to do here is we want to go to functions and override and we have something called mouse button down. In mouse button down we can uh, detect if we are uh, behaving in a certain way. For example here we are gathering our mouse event and we have some geometry information as well if we wanted to use that but what we can do here is we can drag out from our mouse event and say uh, detect drag if pressed so what this means is uh, actually let's do this let's um, let's do a print here first and uh, let's drag it out like so and then from this one we'll just drag out and we'll type in handled uh, this is sort of a, a, a notification of how if this um, situation was handled or not and then there, if there are other things listening to it uh, they could then step in if it hasn't been handled yet to do their logic to then yeah say that it's handled it's it's a whole hierarchical chain about uh, functionality anyway we can just say here uh, dragged in in this uh, print string and let's see what happens here so if we go uh, starting our card hand with some cards we hold down our mouse key you can see that it says dragged up there in the in the top left so that's uh, what we're sort of after to begin with however I want to uh, disable some functionality by going to our card controller inside of our card controller we are going to be setting our mode for our input and we're gonna be doing this by uh, we're going to type in self to get a reference to the controller we're in. We're going to set uh, input mode to be UI only because that's only what I'm interested in here currently. Uh, like so. And this is probably not necessary, but we can also do set mouse cursor. No, show mouse cursor is probably what it's called. Show mouse. Yeah. So we'll set that one and we'll set it to true so we can see our cursor. Uh, this will allow us to not move around in the world when we're dragging our uh, mouse around. The widget we want to focus on is going to be our HUD in this case. Uh, let's move this around a little bit like so. Yeah, and that should be all we need really. Oh, why is this one so far out? Anyway, so Let's do this and compile and save and then check again. Add cards, that's a lot of blue cards. Let's get some more. So we get the dragged uh, uh, print string up in the top left there now because when we're holding down our mouse button on the card. So we're detecting this situation when we're holding down the mouse button here, but now we want to act on it as well. And what we're doing here is we're saying that we want to um, detect drag if pressed. So if we were to click on the keyboard here and then press the left mouse button, it will automatically detect that that's the key you press down or you could just manually find it in the list here if you wanted to and have its output be the handled or unhandled uh, reply from this. We'll remove everything else. Now, um, what we want to do from here is um, we want to uh, hook on to what this is causing. So what this is causing, it is creating a drag event to be created. Going to our functions, 
we can see here that we have something called on drag detected and this is the event that will be pinged when this happens so on drag detected we can drag this out we can put in a print screen print string sorry to say uh, drag detected and then we'll just compile save and run and let's hold on mouse button and then drag we can see drag detected is happening all right so drag detected is being properly identified here how do we make use of this well uh, first of all we want to have something that we're dragging around uh, what we could do is we could for example create a widget for our card so if we were to right click create widget and then choose the class w card which is the class that we're currently making use of here like so then we would create a a card widget now it wants to know the owning player so we can get owning player and hook that up so that it knows who it belongs to uh, then we have the card info now the card info is how we determine how our card looks we set the background color the image and the text and everything like that right and we have that available since we are actually inside of the card so we can just get this card info structure and send it in and it will look exactly like this one now we want to use this widget together with our drag and drop event and to do that we will need to create a new class so we'll open up our content browser and go to blueprint class and we'll open up everything and say drag drop here you can see we get something called a drag and drop operation you can select this call it uh, bp underscore card drag drop for example saving that we now have a class that we can create inside of here this works as sort of our container for all the information that we want to have so if we were to say uh, create a drag and drop operation like so you can see that we have a lot of information to fill in here one of the things we can fill in is our bp drag and drop we can have tags if we wanted to we can have a payload which might make sense so we can send ourselves in as a payload so that it's being sent with and then we can say that it should have a drag and drop visual and we've just created a widget for that purpose here now when it comes to the pivot and offset that's completely up to you what you want to make use of there but this should be fine for us so doing this and hooking up the operation from the result of the create drag and drop we should now have a situation here where we play and we drag a card and we have this card that we're now uh, yanking around in the screen so everything is good and fine so far where do we go from here well since our card hand is sort of our manager for our cards in most of the ways that we're working with we might want to create another situation here with an event dispatcher where we say um, let's call it drag started all right and we'll set as an input again to be of the type w card so we're sending us as the info saying that we are the one being dragged so card dragged now we want to call on this event over here and finish off like so and for the card dragged we're again of course going to be sending a reference to ourselves and then we'll clean up some of the node lines here so that they look a little bit better okay so now we have a situation we are sending we're dragging a card we're creating a card we're dragging it around everything is fine um, and now we're sending that information to our uh, logic in the card hand essentially if it starts to listen for it so let's get to our card hand and start listening to this uh, event dispatcher actually happening so we'll go to our event graph again and when we add the card we can then say that we want to listen to this event so bind uh, drag started 
like so. And then we'll hook that up. And then we'll say, we want to have an event for this. We can call this uh, drag started. Now, we don't need to do a whole lot here, really, because uh, what's important is we need to keep track of uh, what is the car that is currently being dragged, because we want to keep track of some information related to it. So we'll just do that for now and say promote to variable and say, uh, let's rename this to uh, currently dragged card, something like that. Now, equally, we do want to realize when we have stopped dragging a card, which usually means that you're just letting go of the mouse, right? And then react to it in some way, depending on where you're dropping it. Dropping it. For this, we can again go to our card in our card widget, we again have some useful functionality for this already built in. So we have something called on drag cancelled. So this happens when you release the mouse button typically. And if we were to print out a string here, we can see that I would say uh, drag cancelled. Compile, save and play. We add some cards, we hold down and drag, we can see drag detected, we can drag it around however long we want to, and then we just let go, and we get the drag cancelled message saying there. So this is a good place for us to hook on some more functionality here. So here we can go and say we want to have another event dispatcher. Let's say drag stopped. We send similar information to what we've done before, we want to have a card type, we want to say card that was dragged or dragged card might be more descriptive and less uh, expletive. Um, so we call on this event dispatcher and we send in that self again, of course, is the card that has stopped being dragged. Compile, save, go to our card hand again. We say we want to listen to this event as well. So bind, uh, drag, stopped. Hook it up. Make it a little cleaner. Add an event. And we can now say drag, stopped. There we go. Uh, so what we want to do here is, for now at least, say that our currently drag card is cleared. We, we don't have a currently dragged card because we just let it go, right? So that's what we're going to, to do for now. Now, given how we currently have this looking, if we start playing and we start dragging a card, we can see that we get sort of a duplicate because we are uh, giving our visual to the drag and drop. Uh, what we could do is we could to not make it look so confusing, because now that we have two cards here, it sort of doesn't make a whole lot of sense that we like see a yellow card and have a yellow card in our hand. Um, so what we can do is we can uh, try to convey to the user that this card that we still have in the hand is not actually there. It's, it's actually the one being dragged around. Uh, one way we could do that is by going to our uh, let's see here, we go to our drag detected on our card. So here we established that we're starting to drag. Um, we can also get rid of this print screen. Uh, but here we could say that we want to set our render opacity, for example. So uh, a render op opacity is if you go over here to the card here and we type in opacity you can see here, a render opacity is by default 1. If we put it to 0 0.1, you can see that it's almost fully transparent. Uh, if we put it to something like 0 0.5, it will be uh, semi-translucent. Um, so we could do something like that. We could go and say that uh, we get reference to self, so the widget that we're in. Uh, set render opacity 
and then we set it to some kind of value that we decide here. So we can uh, promote the variable. Render opacity is a fine name, I think. Uh, by default, we can set it to something, I don't know. Let's try 0 0.4 or something. Uh, this means that now when we drag a card, we get to see that it's sort of transparent what we, where we leave behind. So that's one way. You could do this in many different ways to show a visual, you, or you could just have it completely hidden if you want to as well. Uh, but now that we let go of the card, we don't actually return the, the visuals of the card yet. So we need to fix that. Uh, go, ahead, go ahead and save and compile. So the point when we know that we no longer need to have this opacity set is going to be um, when we're in our event graph decide that uh, drag has cancelled. So here, after drag has cancelled, we can just set render opacity back to 1. And it should be completely opaque again. There we go. We need to fix this in case there's someone who's very uh, that's not completely aligned. There we go. Okay, so we pick up a card, it becomes transparent, we let it go, it becomes normal again. So that's all looking good and fine now. Um, so that, that should be sufficient to tell the user that uh, the card is not actually in your hand anymore. So let's recap a little bit about what we have done in this episode. Uh, in our card, we have defined that we have a situation when a mouse is pressed down, in this case the left mouse button, we're going to be creating a drag event. Uh, the drag event is the on drag detected. So when this event fires, we'll go ahead and set our opacity on the card that we have in our hand so that it's a little bit transparent, showing the user that it is currently not uh, there anymore. It's the one that we're dragging around with our mouse. Um, we also create a payload of our card with the visuals of our current card so that we can have that as the sort of uh, visual representation of the card that we're dragging around uh, in, in the, the editor area. This will in turn also call on an event dispatcher call uh, drag started, which the card hand will listen to and we'll make sure that it keeps track of the, the card that we're dragging. This doesn't have a lot of functionality right now, but we'll get to that in later episodes. In addition to that, the uh, card also have the ability to uh, declare that it has uh, cancelled the drag, which is when you let go of the mouse button, uh, upon which we send another event dispatcher saying that the drag has stopped and return our visual for our card back to normal. Our card hand, again, We'll be listening to the drag stop and we'll make sure that we are no longer referencing this card as being dragged right now. Anyway, that's going to be all for this episode. Keep on learning. Take care. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.